It is 8.05 right now. This morning we are taking you beyond the studio to Gig Harbor, one of Puget Sound's hidden gems. It's been a fun morning all day with Joyce Taylor and Cam Johnson out there, really selling Gig Harbor to us. We're thinking about getting a summer home there. Uh, more to ladies. Good morning. It's beautiful here. Even on it a really rainy is. February day, it's beautiful here. It is. And it's been so great to be here all morning long. You know, we asked all of you, our Facebook followers, to tell us what are some of the hidden treasures here in Gig Harbor? Boy, did you guys respond. And 70 of you shared the post on Facebook. But we have to give a special shout out to one person in particular, <laughs> Brianna Marie. Thanks so much. She wrote on our wall. She said, one request. Can you please tell your viewers that Gig Harbor it's full, people. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> keeps finding out what a safe, secure, pretty area this is, and they're all moving on in. You can visit, but please don't stay. <laughs> okay, we get it. And since we've been here for a couple of days, right. we understand why, because it's such a, such a beautiful place. Right. And people are so nice. And the secret is out. <laughs> Brianna, <laughs> newsflash, it's too late. Yeah, the secret, <laughs> in fact, I just found out from the mayor exactly where the boat launch is, which is very important for me and my favorite part of Gig Harbor is the waterfront and I just can't wait actually to get my own boat out on the water. Joining us right now is uh, Alan Anderson, a very special athlete who is the coach of the Gig Harbor canoe and kayak team. Your team is out there on the water right now mm -hmm. and he's not, I mean he's not just a coach, he is a world, let's see, a Okay, the Masters, the world champion of the Masters. Uh, world world yeah. Masters. This is not world, just any team. He's a world Masters champion kayaker. And he ha started a team here 16 years ago that is really going strong now. Can you tell me about your team and what you do? Yeah, yeah we, uh, I actually started a team right here on this dock uh, 2002 and uh, with two boys, two 11-year-olds, <laughs> wow. my son and his friend, and uh, just started dragging kids off the street. <laughs> and, uh, They're really competitive, aren't they? Well, well five-time national champions? It, it took a while to get there. It took a while to build a team that could win that. So why Gig Harbor? Why Gig Harbor, and why well, is this a good place to train and race? It is a uh, good question. It's beautiful. It's yes. like you're paddling in a postcard every time you go out there. I'd never get tired of it. And then it's protected from most of the winds yeah. as you look around. You've got protection on both sides. And if you look at the boats the kids are in down there, they're really, really tippy and difficult to manage. You can't take them out in, in heavy water. So and it's a perfect place to train. It's incredible. There are no tryouts for this team. And yet you are five-time national champions. And you are welcoming to other uh, canoers and kayakers, um, canoeists and kayakers, mm -hmm. to come on out. In fact, you've got a big event coming up in yeah. April. You want other people from all over the area with their canoes and kayaks to come on out to Gig Harbor. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's um, it's our seventh annual Paddler's Cup, mm -hmm. a race we created seven years ago, and it involves all human-powered craft. Uh, there'll be inner harbor races, two-day race. That's uh, April 20th and 21st. <laughs> Two days of racing, inner harbor, sprints like you see going on behind you there, and then across the Narrows Challenge, which wow. can be very challenging. Uh, two well, days of it, dragon boats will be involved, lots oh of dragon fun. boat activity and uh, Before we run out of people. time, as somebody who's spent much of your life on the water, for somebody who's never been in a uh, canoe or kayak, mm -hmm. what is it about being in one of those boats and being a, a racer that mm -hmm. you love so much? Yeah, these boats are so challenging to handle. It takes months to sit in one of these boats without falling in. Mm. So it's the challenge of becoming one with your boat. And then once you do, and you, if you have a good coach and you do your technique right, uh, you can fly. It's as close as you can come to flying on the water. And since That's you're working thrill. with young people, I also want to ask, what, does, what do young people in particular get out of this? What do they learn being a part of a team like this? Uh, uh, you know, young people have the capacity to dream. And uh, Gig Harbor kids have a tendency to be really tough and, uh, and, and big dreamers. And so what they get out of it is they realize that hard work uh, and following your dreams that you can accomplish great things. Mm -hmm. Alan Anderson, thanks so much mm -hmm. for sharing. Mm -hmm. And maybe you'll yeah. have some new new students, new uh, people out in yeah. these boats Good. after this. Gig so Harbor. Really appreciate it. Thank Gig you. Gig Harbor is such a great place to grow some dreams so out on the that. water. Gig Harbor Canoe Kayak. Yes. This is Alan Anderson. Thank thanks you. so much. We'll be back with more.